10 bodybuilders who went too far. Gordon Kimbrough. This San Francisco bodybuilder is a perfect example of what can happen if bodybuilders go too far with steroids and hormones. Gordon Kimbrough was described by those who knew him as quiet and shy, aren't they all? Where this bodybuilder went too far was in taking growth hormones to increase his size and definitions for competitions. Unfortunately, the hormones also altered Kimbrough's personality, as witnessed when he snapped one night and murdered his fiancée in a jealous rage. He's currently in jail where he no doubt has lots of time for working on his physique. Chad Brothers Another case of the side effect of steroids, Chad Brothers enjoyed working out and building up his physique. Described as outgoing and jovial, those who knew him had nothing but good things to say. Then, in 2011, Chad was working out at the local gym when video cameras caught him flying to a rage. After punching a fellow patron in the face, Chad was seen running around the gym knocking over equipment and behaving very strangely. Police arrived and had a great deal of trouble subduing Brothers, who required multiple taser shots before he fell dead to the floor. Officials later said that Chad experienced an agitated delirium contributed to the steroids found in his system. Terry Harris Bodybuilding isn't just a male competition, and many women enter this world with the goal of getting big and winning major tournaments as well. Terry Harris was one such bodybuilder. She had worked and built herself up for years before finally making it pro in 2013. Unfortunately, what Terry didn't know is that her body couldn't handle the strain. Just two days after her first professional completion in Tampa, the 49-year-old was at the gym when she collapsed and died of a massive heart attack. Greg Plitt Greg Plitt was an actor, former army ranger, and a fitness model who was focused on getting in shape and bulking up. Unlike steroid use or working out with a bad heart, Plitt took things too far when he was making a commercial for energy drinks. Believing that his physical condition and energy drink gave him the edge, Plitt wanted to prove it by racing a train. The only problem was that he tried to do it while running on the tracks. Needless to say, this moment of terrible judgment led to Plitt being killed and proving yet again that you shouldn't play on the train tracks. Steve Mikulik Steve Mikulik was one of the pioneers of modern bodybuilding. His motto, intensity or insanity, reflected his brutal training regime which either made or broke many aspiring bodybuilders. He also used huge amounts of steroids to help him get the body he wanted. These steroids contributed to his health problems which included massive tumors, kidney failure, and heart disease. Mikulik's personality was also enhanced by the chemicals, and he was even known to throw spectators through the window of the gym because he thought they were draining his energy while he trained. Denise Britkowski As we've already seen, pushing too hard in the world of bodybuilding can have some serious consequences not only for men, but women as well. Denise Britkowski had a relatively brief bodybuilding career stretching from the late 1980s to the early 1990s. Britkowski's workout regime gave her an impressive physique and made her appear like a cross between Barbie and He-Man. Steroid use, as it does for most female users, took its toll on the 1993 Miss Olympia runner-up, however. Today, Denise looks nothing like her old self thanks to her masculine appearance and extensive facial hair. Anthony D'Arzo Anthony D'Arzo is proof that while bodybuilding can make you look healthy on the outside, it can mask weakness and illness on the inside. Always pushing to get bigger and pump more iron, D'Arzo had been warned by doctors that he had a weak heart. Ignoring the warnings, the bodybuilder pushed on with more weights and steroid use, draining his already struggling heart. Just hours before a competition, the 44-year-old sat down on the bed and died in the middle of a discussion with his friends. Romario Dos Santos Alves Sometimes bodybuilders just can't get to the size they want. Those who don't go the steroid route often turn to synthol, a chemical which can be injected into the body to give the appearance of larger muscles. Romario de Santos Alves was one such bodybuilder who went this route. Romario injected so much synthol into his arms that they swelled to 25 inches. You could say, however, that he went too far. The synthol hardened in his arms and doctors were almost forced to amputate both arms in order to save his life. In addition, his kidneys were damaged from the chemical injections and children were frightened by his appearance, often running away in horror. Nasser El Sambati Born in Germany, Nasser El Sambati was a professional bodybuilder who competed from the 1980s to the early 2000s. A constant participant at the Mr. Olympia competitions, he was also featured regularly on the covers of bodybuilding magazines. In order to remain competitive with the other contenders, Nasser was a known user and proponent of steroids. Unfortunately, years of steroid use and the strain of maintaining his body size played havoc with his health. Suffering significant damage to his heart and kidneys, Nasser passed away in 2013 at just 47 years of age. 
Candace Armstrong Her desire to get bigger paved the way for Candace Armstrong's use of steroids. The once slender blonde decided that she was unhappy with her appearance and wanted to get bigger arms, shoulders, and a slender waist. When natural means weren't cutting it, Candace used steroids for the extra boost. Unfortunately, the drugs have had a significant impact on her appearance. The once feminine looking woman now has acne, excessive body hair, and a general look which makes her appear more male than female. Despite these shortcomings, she has used this transformation to her advantage by now taking part in a drag act. While this video had some heavy moments, I hope you enjoyed it all the same. Here are some other videos that might pertain to your interests. Don't forget to subscribe.